Welcome to DBCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to enable management access for Vigor 3910 and 2962 routers. Let's go and have a look. Before we are going to start my configuration, I just want to explain to you why I want to enable this. For example, if you see here, we have a Vigor 3910 router which is in HQ. and we have a 2962 which is in branch. So the concern is that both locations they have a static public IP. If you see here, they have a static public IP. So which can able to access from outside means for example if I connect my PC on the internet, if I enable the HTTP or HTTPS access for this public IPs, I can able to access this device directly from anywhere in the world. But usually it's not recommended guys. For my lab purpose, I just want to enable this. Why? Because to configure 3910 router, I need to connect my PC on the management interface. And actually P12 I configured as a management interface. If you see my previous videos, you can able to understand why I configured port number 12. And in 2962 port number 6 I configured for management. And here I configured the network which is 100.0. Here I configured 200.0. So my concern is that every time I need to change the cable because if I want to configure Vigor 3910 router, I need to remove my cable. I have to connect on port number 12. Then I can able to access 3910 router. In case if I want to access 2962, I need to connect my cable on port number 6 then I can able to access but I don't want to do like that simply what I'm going to do since I have a public IPs in both locations so on port number 3 we configured 195.229.219.5 and in 2962 we configured 195.229.219.10 so these two public IPs if I am in the internet, I can able to access it. Okay, guys. So this is what I'm going to see. Let's say my PC is directly connected to the internet. From the internet, if you enable the HTTP or HTTPS access, I can able to access it. These two devices. Let's go and do it how we are going to do this. Yeah. So first thing is that let's go and access Vigor 3910 router. But at the moment, to enable the management settings, I need to connect directly to this router. Yeah. So I have connected now. Let's open this and try to communicate. Yes, I can able to talk. Now open the browser and here you can type 192.168.100.1. See, I can able to access my Vigor 3910 router. Enter the username is admin, password is admin. Then say login. Once you log in, make sure that make it off. Then after that, you can go to the system maintenance there you can able to see management once you click on the management by default if you see here disable ping from the internet if anybody try to ping your public IP by default it's a disable so I just want to enable this then after that allow management from the internet just enable this guy okay I'm going to enable HTTPS yeah and if you want to enable HTTP, you can able to do that. But it's not recommended. If you want, you can do that as well. In case if you want to change the port number, you can able to change the port number as well. We can see it later about the port number. For, for the moment, I'm trying to access my Vigor Train and 10 router from outside, from my public internet. So I just enable this. Then after that, say OK. Then click OK now. Then say OK. It's going to reboot and it's going to come back. So wait for some time guys. So meanwhile I'm trying to ping the IP address. Yes, it's rebooting now. I can able to see that. Just wait for a few seconds. Yes, there you go. So, so far I have done it here in one side. Now what I'm going to do, I need to do it in other side as well, which is where, which is on 2962. Now I'm going to connect my PC on port number 6 and I'm going to do the same things what I have done it on 3910. So for that,
now I connected on port number 6 now just open it and try to ping which is 192.168.200.1 see I can able to ping now take a new tab and 192.168.200.1 and username is admin password is admin there you go so just make it off then after that go to the system maintenance then you can click on the management then here first I'm enabling the ping then after that hello management I'm trying to enable HTTP as well now after this click OK now say OK now say OK now just keep continuous ping so that you can able to see it what's going on exactly there you go so now what I'm going to do guys so far I have enabled the management access from outside from internet for this guy and for this guy now I'm going to connect my PC directly here in the internet okay guys so from there I can able to access both routers directly this is what I'm trying to do now okay guys so as I told you that if you see my previous lab you can understand that how I connected to my management network I mean my internet directly so for that what I'm going to do I'm just disconnecting my LAN cable now I'm directly connecting to my Wi-Fi network. My Wi-Fi network at the moment is belongs to, if you see here, say show home, it belongs to my internet. Okay, so that I'll get the public IP range there. So now let's go and access this guy, which is 195.229.219.5. Say enter. And here I'm going to access 195.229.219.10. Say enter. Now you see here I got this beautiful message nothing to worry click on this guy say connect now I can able to access my Dretech router and do the same thing for 2962 as well say connect so that you can able to access from outside so it's always not recommended guys but for my lab purpose since I want to access both devices to configure my next lab that's why I have done that so I just want to show you as well for the same time yeah. thank you for watching this video guys for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com see you in the next video